I mean, I've always been, uh, I've always pursued love my whole life, you know. Even when I was a kid, I loved girls, I loved them. And that was all, when I was 12, I discovered that girls were the greatest thing. And I would ask them out, that's what I did. I just walked up and asked them out. I had no fear. I go up to any girl I like, hey, uh, you wanna go out with me? And she's like, no! Because <laughs> you weren't supposed to do that. You weren't supposed to just ask her out. There was a system. My daughters told me it still works this way in middle school. There's a thing where the, the boy asks his friend to ask her friend to ask her what she would say <laughs> if he asked her out. How do children just know this Elizabethan parlor thing? <laughs> Twelve-year-old boy, please inquire after her maiden friend. Were I to request her presence, <laughs> what might be her answer? Indeed, my lady would enjoy your company, sir. Hmm, that is well. May I finger her? You are bold, sir. <laughs> and finger her you may. <laughs> and finger her I shall. Anyway, I didn't do any of that myself. I just, uh, I would just ask them out. <laughs> girls said no to me. Till Rachel. Rachel was the first girl who said yes. She, I asked her to the dance in eighth grade, and she said yes. Happiest moment of my life. Even to now. <laughs> I never beat it. <laughs> anyway, Rachel said yes. I'll go to the dance with you. So we went to the dance. I was 13. My first time with a girl. And about five minutes into the dance, she comes up to me and she says, Do you mind if I dance with Jeff? I was like, Okay. Because what are the moves that I have at 13? What else are you going to say? Do you mind if I dance with Jeff? Yeah, I do. I mind very much. What the fuck do you think this is, Rachel? You know what, get your shit, we're leaving right now. Get your shit, shut the fuck up, Rachel, I swear to God. I didn't have any of those tools. So I said, okay, and she danced with Jeff, and made out with Jeff, and left with Jeff. That was, that was it, and I learned. By the way, that guy Jeff, this is a true story. That guy Jeff, he's a woman now. That's what happened, it's true. I was looking, and she has a whole blog on Facebook about becoming a woman. I was up all night reading it. I was crying. It was amazing. I was like, this is incredible. And then at the end, there's a picture of her with hair. And she says, I didn't change. I knew what I was all along. I knew I was a girl since I was six years old. And I read that, and I thought, why don't you take my fucking date then? <laughs> you knew? You piece of shit. Fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> Fuck you and your journey. I don't give a shit now. <laughs> Hooray for a transgender, but fuck you because you're just an a I always hated penises. I hated my father's penis. I did. <laughs> I did. I hated my father's penis. Well, when you're a little boy, sometimes you got to see your dad's dick. If you go to a restaurant, you're probably going to see your dad's dick. <laughs> I should explain that, right? That's, that sounds like I have a weird father. 
All right, we're going out to eat. Everybody take a look. <laughs> no, sometimes, uh, if you go to a restaurant with your family, when it's time to pee, you go pee with your dad if you're a little boy. If you go to a ball game with your dad, I remember there was just, there was never urinals, it was just a trough. And the little boys and the men stand there together. And the men are just standing there. <laughs> and, the, and we're down here, the little boys. And the dicks are eye level, just horrible, hissing dicks in both directions, like a chorus line. Just. <laughs> and my dad. Worst. Because my dad, first of all, my father's Mexican. It's true. My father is Mexican. I'm not. I'm, I'm not Mexican. My father is. Just because some Mexican fucked my mom for years doesn't make me a Mexican. Just makes her a whore. But anyway, my dad, my father had a Mexican, Catholic, uncut, raw, organic, local, fucking free-range Mexican dick. It was just so basic. It was like a farmer's market yam just sticking out like a tamarindo pod. And the pee would spray out of it. I'm like, Dad, open your dick before you pee out of it. It's like you're pissing out of the corner of a pillowcase. And my dad's life is, my dad's had a weird life, too. When I was 10 years old, my parents got divorced, and I mean, he converted to Judaism. He didn't turn into a Jew. It's not like my dad was like, <laughs> he uh, converted. Judaism. And, uh, and I had friends who were Jewish, and I knew that they had little clip dicks, little, little neat. And then I remembered my father's alligator claw of a penis. <laughs> I really hate penises. That's really my problem with being gay. That's why I'm not gay. Men are fine. I'd like to have a boyfriend. That would be nice. I would. Every time I hear somebody say, my boyfriend, I'm always like, I want a boyfriend. Why can't I have a boyfriend? I'd like to have a big, tall boyfriend. <laughs> That's my boyfriend. I'm mad at my boyfriend. <laughs> I get to wear his jacket. It's all big on me. I'm like, it's my boyfriend's jacket. I feel sick. I'd like to have a big dude in my life. Comes up behind me like this, I'm like, hi. <laughs> like, I know that would be nice. But in order to get all those parts, you have to have a fucking cock shoved up your asshole, like a f hard dick ramming in your ass. Ah! Oh, 